Hi David. Hi there. Just starting with team news, any updates after the international break? Uh, no, we're, we're pretty much fine. We we're just get a question mark over Agard. Uh, we're just sort of assessing Paqueta as well a little bit, so we're just having to keep an eye on those two and see how they are. So is Mohamed Kudos okay and Maxwell Corney? Yeah, Max Maxwell Corney is back training. Uh, is he okay? He's he's trained for a few days, so he's certainly back in around. I don't know if he's, he's if he's match fit and match ready yet, but but he's certainly back in around uh, around the training. And facing Newcastle tomorrow, things are quite close between you in the table. How significant is this game in the battle for a European spot? I think it's really important. Uh, every game now is really important. I think we have nine to play. I think every game is going to be vitally important to try and pick up as many points as we possibly can. There's uh, quite a few teams chasing chasing to be in and around the European spots and uh, we're one of them. Do you think the added workload of European football has impacted Newcastle this season? I thought you were going to say West Ham. Previous because we've had, we've had more games in we've had more games in Newcastle, so I can only comment on West Ham. Has it impacted us? Yeah, it does. So I'm sure in some ways it's probably impacted Newcastle as well. But uh, I thought you'd have asked about West Ham, not Newcastle. That was my next question. Was it okay? So. Sorry to jump in then. <laughs> Currently uh, in a European spot and obviously in the Europa League quarterfinals as well. What would a fourth successive season of European football qualification mean for West Ham? Uh, it would be it would be unbelievable for us to, to get four years in a row. I think the level of competition in the Premier League is so difficult every year, so difficult and trying to be in and around the top teams. We see the quality of maybe you no know, the top two, three, four teams in the Premier League are so good. You no know, Champions League regular teams, getting to finals, winning them. So I think to be in the round and just below that uh, is good. I'd like to see if we can challenge them, but uh, but at the moment we've got to be happy with where we are just now. And lastly, Xabi Alonso has confirmed he'll be staying at Bayer Leverkusen beyond this season. What have you made of his rapid ascent at Leverkusen and are you looking forward to going up against him? Well, I don't. Uh, I know Xavi a little bit from from his playing days. I don't know him that well. I know him because of his real Sociedad co uh, connections as well. But uh, he's done a great job at Leverkusen, and uh, I don't know what his decision is. I um, don't know if, if that's true or not. What you're saying. So, uh, if it is, then uh, he must see it as a good decision and the right thing for his career. He's at a really good club at Leverkusen, so uh, and uh, get a fantastic chance of winning the the German league this year. Thanks, David. Thank you. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Uh, you've spoken over the course of this season about always having belief in this squad and after the good periods, not really being surprised at the good performances because you've just had players back from injury. Antonio scored his first goal back from injury. How key is that for his confidence? And you've got a few London derbies mm -hmm. coming up and some tough European matches. Yeah, I think I think having Mick back's given us another, an, another dimension, you know, one that we've had in the past, but... I remember, I think he was out from sort of mid-November, really. Uh, so, what results have been good. We've had some really good uh, periods with and without Mick. Uh, but he scored a really good goal for us the other week against Aston Villa. We hope these goals we need him to add. I think to be a team at the top of the Premier League, you have to have, you know, regular goal scorers and goals getting scored. And you know, Jared Bowen's got a great number of goals this year and and he's done brilliantly well uh, recently. So, you no, know, we we need Mick to to get up amongst those numbers and score goals regularly for us. And so far has seven assists this season so far, which matches his personal best season stats-wise already. He was the player who assisted Kudus last time in Newcastle for the big equaliser, and he recently assisted Antonio for his goal back. How important is it in this day and age in the game to have full-backs that can contribute to attack, and how happy have you been with his season so far? Well, first of all, I have to say we're talking about a, a fantastic boy and a, a great lad for what we paid for him and what we brought him in. The way he plays, his loyalty, the way he conducts himself as a West Ham player, it's its superb, it really is. And, uh, yeah, he's contributed in other factors, like the like the goal assists. He's, uh, he continually works hard, he, he pushes himself to try and improve himself. And if we could keep his goal, if he could get us another four or five before the end of the season, it would be fabulous. But he's uh, 
he's been a really good fullback. And fullbacks, modern day fullbacks, are been asked to do different jobs. Some are playing in midfield, some are building play, some are putting crosses in for us. Vladdy's getting us crosses in, and uh, that's the type he is. And the support this season from the fans has really pushed the players, especially at home. They've said so themselves. They're going to a notorious hard ground, St James's Park. What's your personal message to the Hammers who support week in, week out and worldwide? Well, I think you're right what you say about St James's Park. I think St James's is, is probably one of the best uh, best in the country. And I think because of the success their team have had over, over the past year or two, they're, they're, they're incredi- they always were incredibly passionate, but they're, they're probably even more so with, with what they're getting. Uh, at West Ham, we've, we've had brilliant seasons and we need the supporters to to really, really stick with us in what now is a, probably the most important time of the season. So let's hope they're all behind us in the, in the coming games at the London Stadium and away from home.